Shumai Akroiso. Hello and welcome. I'm Jason Shepherd from the Learn Welsh podcast, and today we're looking at a couple of fun stories about sheep and goats going where they shouldn't. You know what's happening at the moment? A lot of areas are closed. So what are the sheep and the goats doing? They're coming down from the hills and they're having a look around the streets in Wales. So let's look at the first story. And it is, I get my iPad. A flock of sheep descend on empty McDonald's during coronavirus lockdown. Let's have a look. Oh, look, they're, they're there and they're looking and they're going, where's my burger? I ordered chicken McNuggets. So, of course, the McDonald's at the moment is closed there. This story was in April, 22nd of April. Uh, so, the sheep were caught on camera crowding around the closed branch in Ebu Vale on the weekend. It comes after a raft of animals have been spotted taking advantage of deserted streets in Wales. Andrew Thomas, who took the photo on Saturday afternoon, shared it on Facebook and joked, Even the sheep in Ebu Vale are having McDonald's withdrawals. That's true, mind. There's so many recipes online now where people are trying to recreate uh, the McDonald's chicken nuggets and the taste of the burgers because they're all missing it. Um, he told the standard, I was leaving Aldi next door where I, I had been shopping for my mother and an elderly neighbour who were in isolation. I noticed the sheep gathering outside and staring through the window so I took a picture, he added. There is his joke there. Even the sheep in Ebba Vale are having McDonald's withdrawals. He said that he decided to upload it to social media as a joke after seeing so many people talking about their McDonald's cravings since it closed its doors. The photo quickly went viral across the world and Mr Thomas said it's been a crazy few days. He added that he's glad the joke has been uplifting to many people during this uncertain time. Then he goes on to say about last month there was a herd of wild goats running through the streets of Llandidno. And we are going to look at that story in a moment. That's a really fun story. Um, here we go. Get that one ready. <laughs> but, you know, the sheep are curious animals. Uh, they're coming off down from the hills because it's so quiet here. Everywhere. I mean, I, I walked down the street a few days ago to go shopping and I could hear birds so loudly and normally you wouldn't hear them. Or you just hear them in the distance because they're coming closer to town because there are so few cars. So next story, herd of goats take over empty Welsh town during COVID-19 lockdown. Now here we actually have some video footage as well. So let's have a look at this video. It might take a while. Oh, here we go. <laughs> look at them. They're everywhere. So this is did no? They are wild Kashmiri goats. Look at them climbing everywhere. Climb, what's they climbing onto a seat there, is it? Oh no, I think that's um, one of the plants. One of those plant holders. <laughs> Look at them on the walls. So basically, they'll climb if they have food. So, because the streets are so quiet, they're just eating away there. Wow, I would not like to wake up in the morning, open the front door and see a goat staring at me. Especially with those horns, they look very, very dangerous if they wanted to be. Oh, little fight there. Oh, is he going, going shopping? Nice. Let's have a little look around. Look at around the shop that I did now. Quite nice little shopping centre. I've been there. Nice art centre there. Nice little art shop for the crafters among you. Oh, look. They're running away. Right, okay. So, the story. Have you heard the one about goats taking over a Welsh town? Well, it turns out it's true. Wild Kashmiri goats have been spotted wandering freely through Llandidno's deserted streets in recent days, nibbling at hedges and springtime gardens as they go. The animals typically spend their time grazing on the heights of the nearby Great Orm headland and usually only venture down to town during bouts of bad weather. But with so many fewer people out and about amid the corona lockdown, some think the creatures have been drawn into Llandidno, this time by little more than inquisitiveness. Oh look, there's some pictures here, let's have a look. 
Oh, look at him. He likes his photo, having his photo taken. <laughs> the police don't know what to do. The police man's just there and the goats are staring them out down. <laughs> look at them causing traffic problems. Terrible. Oh, they're going to solicitors. Well, they will need a solicitor soon. That's David Jones solicitors and they will need one soon if they keep causing all this havoc. They'll go to court. Basically, if they see a bush or a tree, they, they're going to eat. That's basically what they're doing. They're just looking for food. And a couple of them are enjoying having their photo taken as well. Wow, imagine if you walked out there and saw all those goats and weren't sure if they were uh, tame or not. You'd be quite worried. <laughs> Imagine you're walking down the road and the head pops out. <laughs> Basically just photos of goats looking around and eating. I think that's enough. I think that's enough photos. Fun though. They are curious goats, huh? And I think they're wondering what's going on like everybody else, says town councillor Carol Rugby. Uh, she told the BBC. There are very few visitors on the top of the arm, so they've come down in their droves. There isn't anyone else around, so they probably decided they may as well take over. Mrs. Marubi added that everyone in Clendidno was very proud of the animals, which belonged to a herd of about 120 goats, saying they provided free entertainment to people cooked up indoors. Andrew Stewart, a resident in town, said, oh, he's been capturing footage of their adventures. Uh, we have some videos here. You can get it to play. Well, so basically, the photos I just showed you, there are video versions. So I'll just have a quick look at this one. Try to make it bigger. Oh well, I can't make it bigger. Just what we saw in the photos, really, they're eating. Yeah, it's just the same stuff we've already seen. It says in one clip they've been spotted entering a local church and spotted for a lie down. Uh, yeah, social media users have been picking up Mr. Stewart's footage. And then they're just talking about celebrities who like the footage, like Emily Ata, Gary Lineker. He says, well, if we can't watch Messi, these goats will have to do. So the Kashmiri goats are thought to have been introduced to the Great Orm in 1907 from the royal family's Windsor Great, Great Park herd. Uh, the goats originated from a breeding pair gifted to Queen Victoria by the Shah of Persia in 1837 upon the former's accession to the throne. Curious goats and curious sheep wandering around. I've not seen anything here. Um, as I've said before, mostly the farms around here are all cows. There are a few sheep a little further down. I've not seen any wandering around, but mainly because all their areas are really well gated and uh, locked off but they've got plenty of room to uh, to wander There's loads of grass big big fields but they can't come out onto the path so far who knows if I see any wandering cows or sheep I will let you know and I will uh, put some footage on here well that was some fun I enjoyed that if anything like that is happening in your area why not let us know in the comments below Okay, so if you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel and get all of our videos, you can click the subscribe button and then you'll be notified for all of the videos if you click the little bell. Well, I know a lot of you have been supporting us. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, if you want to support us, you can go to learnwelshnow.co.uk or patreon.com slash learn welsh and for anything you donate you'll get loads of extra learning materials and all of our videos a few days early uh, thank you as well everyone for all the wonderful comments uh, i've been reading them all i comment sometimes but i've been reading everything you say uh, really great stuff well it's time for me to go and i shall see you soon Hoil, bye